I recommend turning on the subtitle for this video. Alvin is a character from Octopath 1. He show up in Alvin uh, story. Now Organ here, he is an ice DPS, a very strong ice DPS with also a very strong healing and also plus point regeneration. Orphan first skill is a 3 hit ice. It go up to 6 hit if Orphan is at red health, but getting to red health with him is extremely easy thanks to his 2 other skill. The skill does 120 potency at max boost, so combine that with him at red health double casting it is a total of 6x120, which make him a very strong ice DPS. Orphan's second skill is an all allies region, which is very good. All allies region is very good. Kind of like Primrose EX, but in this case, instead of Oak Charge and Speed Up, is um, Defense Up and Magic Defense Up, which is better defensively. He does not heal himself with this skill, which is a good thing because you do not want Oxen to be able to heal up past Red Hell. You always want to be at Red Hell with him. He also has a Boost Point Regeneration skill, which is like Adani EX and can substitute for her if you don't have Adani EX. It's can be even better than Adani EX in shorter fight because in shorter fight you don't need enough infinite boost point regen. For longer fight you do though, but for shorter fight you can use Ocean and his boost point regen skill and also his other utility um, instead of using Adani EX. Both of Onion passive are extremely strong. The first one is that if he's at red health, he always get a barrier, so you never have to worry about him dying because he does not get the healing because he will always gain a barrier after he uses a skill if he is at red health. Option second passive is what makes him so strong as an ice DPS. It's passive 30% magic up and ice damage up. Usually a passive like this only has ice damage up, but he has both. He has both of the important buff for you to be an ice DPS. Therefore, he is a very strong one. And for his ultimate, Origin heal everyone for 99999 HP and also give everyone a 1 to 10% buff depending on your ult level. Um, the buff is nice. It's best to combine it with other other character like Primrose EX so you can extend the buff more. But it's not a mandatory must have, so you can A1 him for the actual ice DPS and then ult 10 the ultimate. Oxygen is a very strong character that can do many stuff and be good at it unlike some other character. And he is good at ice, healing, and also boost from regen, so also replace Adana EX so you don't have her. However, there is a few weakness. Mainly is that Oxymoron cannot be healed off of his red health, and there's two ways for him to be hindered by this. One is that Oxytoxin can be hindered by other healer because they will heal him off a red health. So if you use him as an ice DPS, you cannot use him um, with other healer. And second is that if you switch into the back row, he will also gain the natural HP regen, so that's also hindered a bit. If you put him in the back for too long, he will heal back to yellow health, which is not a good thing. Right now in the end, Obsidian is the best ice DPS in the game for a while until Morphin and Ospa arrive, which is like until Celestia arrive, which is like a very long time. He's also a good healer too, you're lacking healer, and also good utility with the whole boost point regen thing. In JP, Oblivion is the third best ice DPS in the game. There's also, of course, which is better than him. And there's Morphin, who got a, a good 6 star upgrade, so now his ice DPS is on par with him. Now, let's compare Objection to Cyrus. Now, this is not really a fair comparison, but then again, we never have a good ice DPS, so therefore, we don't really have anyone else good to compare to besides Cyrus, so... Both of them has around the same magic, but other than that, everything else, Operation does it better. His 3 hit ice is a bit lower in potency, but it can double cast if he's at red health. And also his passive also gives 30% magic up, compared to Cyrus is only giving 20% magic up. Oh, and also I forgot to mention this, but off screen can also do X DPS in a way, but like it's only a 1 hit. It's like a 1 hit that gets stronger, yet red health, kind of like Alfin. But he's, his has, he has a low base attack, so in addition to doing healing and boost from region, ice damage, um, he can also do axe damage, but it's recommend you don't do it with him. So, in conclusion, I do not think it's worth it to pull for the Ottoman Empire, mainly because he is a gen pool unit, and also there's like, <laughs> there's like, there's like much for limited unit along the way, so it's better to just save your movies for them. <laughs> and also, there's a high chance we might get, um, the anniversary picker again like last year. So therefore, if you want moment as your gen pull unit, 
then just get him up after anniversary selector.